Christy Hartman, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of Sunflowers. In part one, I showed you a long haul using shades of blue, and then we did kind of a teal background with another layer. We're going to do something similar, but we're going to choose different colors for the background. I'm not going to share with you the whole long haul again because I'm going to use the same exact colors that I used before. I have lots and lots of paint on here. I'm going to add, which is different than the last one, that's why I'm, I started this here. I'm going to add a little bit of this because I want to see what is going to happen. Yeah, it didn't pull up very much, which is great. Which is, that's actually a beautiful print. Now, I'm going to look at this. Pulled it up to the light. You can see all the magenta on there. You can see all the magenta on this side. I think I'm going to just leave all that. I'm really loving that. Oh yeah, I really like that. We are going to use which I'm always back to. It seems to be my favorite pattern to put behind something. Aqueous Effervescence and Quinn Nickel Azel Go. That's going to be lovely. And I'm going to put a layer of gold on here next. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull it with the Sennelier. So we're going to use Iridescent Gold Fine, which is a little bit more opaque. Let's look at it real quick. Oh yeah. And then with the red behind it, I think that will be very nice. This red is going to pull it all together and all of these layers are going to be gorgeous. We'll be back when it's ready to pull. Here is this sunflower print it ended up being pulled off camera. I really like this print. I love the variation in colors from the long haul and then the orange that I put in the background as well as, well as pulling it with the red. So I think this turned out super. It wasn't exactly what I had envisioned, but as is often the case when you're gel printing, um, I ended up liking it. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you in my next video.